It is now time to take a look at some of the digital media content available on Arirang's website and other social media platforms. And we have another episode of Anni News today where our Yoon Jung Min looks at the latest social trends in Korea. Take a look. Hi everyone, I'm Yoon Jung Min, a news reporter at Arirang TV and welcome to Anni News. Thank God it's Friday, but you know what? It's no ordinary Friday here. Every year on April 5th, South Korea celebrates the Arbor Day or the Tree Planting Day. Recently, local researchers have found out through a study that indoor plants uh, such as money trees or sphere flowers improve air quality by reducing fine dust concentrations. On the back of these findings, sales of these plants grew by 136% on year on a local online market around the end of March. They expect more demand in April, particularly around the Arbor Day. That's not all. Seems like some of the K-pop fans are also up for it. A few years ago, Chinese fans of K-pop group Xinhua raised funds to plant trees and build Xinhua Forest around April, hoping for cleaner air for their stars. Some of the other fan clubs, including Girl Generation and EXO, have also raised funds for the same purpose. Well, be that as it may, it's still good to see more greenery in neighborhoods. Getting bored of beeping alarms in the morning? Well, I might just jump out of bed in a second if my super favorite star wakes me up in the morning. Well, in fact, if you are a Samsung Galaxy user, this may no longer be just imagination. Samsung's mobile app, Celeb Alarm, which provides voice alarms and voice messages of K-pop stars, was only available for Samsung Galaxy S10 users, but now the service is expanded for some of other model users too. Currently, more than 100 voice messages from 10 stars are available, including Kang Danye, Chaonu of Astro, Jung Eun-ji and Son Naeun of A-Pink. Also, the service was launched in 10 Asian countries, including China, Japan, and Vietnam. Of course, it's not free and you need a subscription, but some of the K-pop fans might welcome the news. What was the best scene at the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics for you? For me, friendship between South Korea's leader Lee Sang-hwa and Japan's now Kodaira was impressive thanks to their warm hug after the race. In the women's 500 meters, Kodaira took gold while Lee was just 0.39 seconds behind her rival. Lee shed tears after the race and Kadaira gave her a big hug on the ice. The two were seen by many sports fans and media. To honor their friendship, a legacy foundation for Pyeongchang 2018 is likely to award them the Korea-Japan Friendship Award for showing true Olympic spirit. The foundation leader appreciated them, portraying their friendship as an ideal spirit among athletes. Maybe true sportsmanship lies in friendship rather than competition. That's all we have for today, but there is another Unni next time, so don't forget to subscribe to A Plus and like this video. Bye!